Good, hello everyone, my name is Nathan, or I'm gonna frost. Welcome back to more Destiny on the PS4. I am playing on my Hunter again today. And guess what I got yesterday, guys? In the uh, in the good old Vault of Glass raid, I got the Fate Bringer. That's right. And I not only have one of them, guys, I actually have three of them. I know, right? Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll get to explain. And basically, I did the raid three times. As you guys know, I have three characters. One of them, which is my main, my Warlock is level 32, my hunter's level 31, still have yet to gotten fucking raid boots, which I'm pretty pissed off about, but nonetheless, uh, I would be 32 if I just got raid boots, anyways, um, so yeah, 32 warlock, 31 hunter, as you guys can see, and I also have a 30, uh, can be 31 titan, which I'm going to be working on a little later today to get him to 31, uh, just to, you know, get him caught up and everything like that, and I had three raids in a row, first one was on my hunter, okay, Second one on my Warlock, third one on my Titan. So, first one, did Templar. I'm always Relic Holder, by the way. I literally, I'm, I'm such a beast with it, killing Templar and everything like that. And I get a Fate Bringer. I was pretty fucking pumped about it. Awesome. I was like, holy shit, Fate Bringer. Uh, you know, that, that's really fucking cool. I got basically shit all yesterday, all three Nightfalls. Uh, the first one on my Hunter, I got the Alkalphage Symbiote, which is already a helmet I have. I actually, I was wearing it while killing Nexus, uh, and he dropped me another one. Uh, the second one I got, uh, it was a uh, crappy sniper rifle, I think from Did Orbit. I believe it was this run right here. I didn't dismantle it yet. I'm planning on maybe leveling it up, see it exactly what's going to happen with it. I don't know. The impact on it's not too great. The rate of fire and also has a magazine size of three, which can't be upgraded. It it cannot, so that kind of sucks. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I got that uh, Did Orbit sniper right there. Um, and then I also got a fusion rifle as well. Uh, that I already dismantled because it was pretty bad. But nonetheless, uh, shit Nightfall rewards, uh, shit Crota rewards. Like I said, I was looking for boots for my Hunter. I was looking for a chest plate for my Titan, and then they could both be 32. Uh, I didn't get that done, though, uh, so that sucks. I just got a phone call, by the way. I'm putting my phone on silent right now. I keep forgetting to do that because I always get calls from, like, 1-800 numbers, and it, it's really frustrating. But nonetheless, uh, crap Crota rewards. Actually, I did Crota last night on my Warlock on normal. Um... And I got the Thunderlord uh, from Crota himself, and uh, doing the Vault of Glass on my Warlock from the Exotic Chest, actually it was my Titan, I actually got a Hawkmoon, but, you know, that's my fourth one, so I just dismantled it. I don't need four fucking Hawkmoons, you know what I mean? So, anyways, uh, too exotic yesterday, but anyway, Hunter got the Fatebringer, Warlock did it again, got the Fatebringer, so now I have two Fatebringers, and then I did it on the third time on my Titan, and guess what, guys? Got another Fatebringer. <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm not sure what happens when the Fate Bringer drops, but the first time you get it, then you just get constant fucking drops of the Fate Bringer, and it's it's kind of ridiculous. But nonetheless, uh, same thing happened to me on Xbox actually. At once, I got two Fate Bringers in the same drop, at the same Templar kill, and then I got another Fate Bringer after that, and I was just getting Fate Bringers galore. But nonetheless, uh, here we go. We're going to be playing the Daily Heroic today, guys. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. It's the Temple of Crota um, for the Crota Soul. Actually, I'm not even sure if we're going to do this. Uh, I was thinking about doing this, but then again, I was thinking maybe of just doing bounties. So I think I'm just going to run through some mission bounties and everything like that. Uh, we have some uh, mission bounties right here. Like We have Primitive Mind, Primitive Shahawl, and uh, we also have that one. That one will get done actually pretty easy. We'll just go do that one right now, the one with fusion rifle kills. Uh, we'll do Dark Beyond, start that up, and uh, use the Vex Mythoclast. Definitely the easiest one to do it with. So we'll switch out this for... Um, we'll put this on just to see what it looks like, and we'll also go to the Vex Mythoclast real we quickly just to get that, uh, that fusion rifle bounty uh, for the 20, obviously, double kills with it. Uh, very, very hard if you don't have the Vex, but if you have the Vex, it's like, <laughs> it's super easy. It's pretty ridiculous, but, uh, nonetheless, yeah, that's that. So, yeah, from Crow, I got the Thunderlord. I'm, I'm definitely going to be leveling that up a little later. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that it's really good for PvP. I haven't really found too much better than the, the good old, uh, corrective measure okay. right here. Corrective Forget measure that. just is an absolute beast in PvP. But I'm going to level up the Thunderlord and kind of just, uh, you know, kind of compare, I guess. I'm guessing the Thunderlord is better because it is exotic. You know, if if it's not better, that's going to be pretty bad. An exotic, that's worse than a uh, than a legendary. Although there are some exotics that are pretty bad, like No Land Beyond or 
uh, the fourth horseman even. It's not even that great. I mean, it's cool looking. Don't get me wrong, but it's it kind of sucks. There's nothing left. So anyway, uh, not even the light. this is a very good way to get your uh, fusion rifle kills. If you have this overcharged bounty right here, uh, play the Dark Beyond, get to this checkpoint, make sure you don't kill the knight, uh, just kill all the thralls, and you should actually get it in one run. So if we see right now, we are at 0 out of 20, and uh, the bounty is called Overcharge, so we're about to get it. At least I've done it before in one run. If not, something's going to go wrong, and it's going to be crap. But nonetheless, we should get it in one, one run. Like, literally, I just, it, it's going to be proof to you guys right here and everything like that. So I just wish that the fucking game would drop me raid boots already for my hunter so she would be level 32. And then when she's level 32, I actually have my Blade Dancer maxed out so I can run Sword Bearer on hard mode even. Ugh. God, the frustration, I'm telling you. We've woken the hive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We awoken the hive. Whatever. Come on out. Move away, knight. I don't have a problem with you, knight. Anyway, like I said, very, very easy with the Vex Mythical Ask. And uh, believe me when I say it does count. Um, come on, Thrall. I'm waiting for you. We should get it here in a second. Hold up. And... We have a couple more Thrall coming. Let's not let this knight kill us and everything. Do we have any more Thrall? Because if not, we're really close, and I know that for sure. Like, absolutely. Hold on, Jay. I'm just doing a video, pal. Play with you in a little bit. Shit. Come on. Come over here. Back up. Back up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up. Back up, bitch. Back up. Wow, I'm, I gotta be really close to this. Let's see if we can just see two people at once. Or two enemies, rather, not people. You know what I mean. Alright, we gotta be really close. Let's see. Yeah, see? Look at that shit. I can just, I can go in here and get a double kill with it. Hold on one second. No, I, I just, I know I know for a fact that I failed on some of the Thrall there, but you can get it done, trust me. You can get it done in one run, no problem whatsoever. Uh, and there you go, right there, Overcharge. Awesome. And now you can just go to Orbit. Like I said, don't kill the Knight. If you ever need to do it again, or any other bounty for that matter, you can just come back in here and obviously do it again. It's pretty easy. As long as you leave that Knight alive, you'll have that checkpoint pretty much forever. Uh, let's move on to the next bounty here. Guys, we're going to be leveling up that Fatebringer, so let's put that Fatebringer on. And before we turn in our bounties, we're also going to be activating this Hand Cannon Telemetry as well. Because if you activate Hand Cannon Telemetries while you're turning in bounties to level up, obviously, a Hand Cannon, uh, it's actually really, really useful, and I recommend you do it. So I'm going to slap on the Truth here. Uh, and then I'm also probably going to level up this Praetis Revenge, because I do want to get a Praetis Revenge maxed out. I know it's really, really good for the raid, uh, everything like that. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do that here. Let's slap on a Praetis Revenge. Uh, we'll get that maxed out, like I said. Very, very good. I love it. Love Praetis Revenge. Very, very awesome. Uh, we could have... Yeah, we got this one for now, right? And then Feeding Frenzy. Okay, it's almost maxed out. We got fucking a few more upgrades to go. Uh, turning in these bounties should definitely do it, though. Uh, let's move on to the next mission bounty. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Prohibitive Mind, Rising Tide, Primitive Child, and the Garden Spire. Uh, do we have any checkpoints for that is my question. A rising tide. We do have some sort of a checkpoint here. So, level 20. Uh, so, yeah. Pri uh, primitive Mind, I believe it's is what it was called. The Prohibitive Mind, or Prohibitive, or... Yeah, Prohibitive Mind. Uh, it's at the very, very end. It's the last Minotaur you actually have to kill all the way at the end of the mission. So, I think we have actually a checkpoint very, very close to that. So, we're about to find out. Now, guys, if you, if you guys are wondering at all... Uh, this Fatebringer, obviously it's from VOG. You know, it's one of the VOG hand cannons that does arc damage. As you guys can see, it's very, very good because precision kills increase reload speed and also it has Firefly. Pre precision kills with this weapon, uh, you know, obviously cause the enemy to explode. 
uh, and deal, obviously, portions of the weapon's damage around it. Not not really portion, but just it does surrounding damage in general. Uh, now, it does max out at 300, as you guys could see. So it's weaker than all of the new weapons. You know, obviously the new weapons from Crota's End and just the update in general uh, do 331 damage. Okay, don't get me wrong. Obviously, uh, they do 331 damage. But this Fatebringer has an ability like no other weapon in the game. And it is fucking incredible. I don't care whether or not you guys think it's less powerful than the 331 attack or anything like that. If you have no experience with it, just listen to me. Take it from my advice. This weapon is an absolute freaking beast. Like, there's no other way to put it. It's just absolutely insane how good this Fatebringer is. Especially, obviously, when you get it upgraded. It's not the, obviously, it's not the best when it's not upgraded or anything. That's why I'm upgrading it. Uh, but nonetheless, it is very, very good. It is better than the Word of Crota, in my opinion. I actually have the Word of Crota maxed out, so if anybody's going to give it a really good judgment opinion on it, it would be me, uh, because I've actually had the Fatebringer maxed out on Xbox, and I also have the Word of Crota as well. So if anybody's, like I said, is going to give it an opinion, it's going to be me. Uh, and in my opinion, Fatebringer for general PvP... Uh, and general PvE, the Fatebringer is much better uh, because of the perks that it actually has. It is very, very good, and I recommend you use it. God, I miss Praetis Revenge. I miss it so much. That, that was my go-to sniper on uh, Xbox, actually, for a while. Um, my go-to sniper now is the Icebreaker, but obviously when I'm using something like Truth, you know, I don't have an exotic slot to be filled up. Uh, obviously, Praetis Revenge is a good secondary. Again, it's a VOG weapon. It maxes out at 300, but it also has the perk Firefly, which, again, does the same thing as the Fatebringer when you get it upgraded. Um, it causes the enemies to explode uh, when you get precision kills on them, and that's very, very good. So, anyways, this hand cannon right here, very, very good for the starting of Crota's End, especially with explosive rounds and everything like that when you're killing Thrall. Uh, now, for hard mode Crota's End, I would recommend you guys using the Word of Crota just because that extra damage and the explosive rounds uh, probably do a lot more uh, to level 33 enemies. So I do recommend you guys use the Word of Crota uh, on hard Crota's End, but on normal Crota's End, definitely use the Fate Bringer. It would definitely bring you a lot more. Um, see, this is the guy you need to feed. It would definitely bring you a lot more. Uh, damage impact to the level 30 enemies and the level 30 thralls and stuff like that. So prohibitive mind, I'm not going to finish the mission just in case this mission ever comes up again for bounties. I'm just going to go to orbit. Again, that's how you save checkpoints, guys. Just go to orbit. Don't finish the mission. Kill what you need to kill, get the bounty, and get out of there. It's not hard. It's pretty fucking easy, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what the next one was. I believe it's the Garden Spire. Let's go ahead and see if we actually have a uh, checkpoint for that, and we don't. So I'm going to postpone that one and see what else we can do here. So we have to kill enemies without dying. Uh, we could do patrol missions in Cosmodrome. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do some patrol missions in the Cosmodrome. And we can also get our kills there as well, guys. So, yeah. Anywho, um, yeah, guys, I'm really enjoying Destiny, honestly. As you guys know, this is my favorite game uh, right now, today. Uh to play online, obviously. Uh, my favorite game right now on my PS4 would probably have to be The Last of Us. Uh, it's very, very good. I love The Last of Us. It's an uh, awesome, awesome game. There's no other way to put it. It's just that. <clears throat> wow. Just bumped my mic a little close to my face there, failures. Alright, so, uh, if you guys have been following okay, my channel, uh, my episode prediction video for next week's episode of The Walking Dead will be going up tomorrow. Uh, season 5, episode 10. It's entitled Them. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Uh, let's see what we got here. We're going to kill all and we got a pickup bounty. Well, we have a scout mission right here, but we'll save that for when we've done the missions here and we're going to go to another place. So we'll save that scout mission. I recommend you guys always do that. Uh, like I said, the Fate, Fate Bringer I recommend for general PvP. Um, you know, just running around the Cosmodrome, you know, stuff like that. Just Not just the Cosmodrome, I mean, like, other level 30 missions, you know, stuff like that. The Fatebringer will still bring you the damage that you're looking for, because as you guys know, obviously, before the update, level 30 was the max, and, uh, 
you know, 300 attack was the max for the weapons. So that's basically what the Fate Bringer is going to bring you. So. It's not going to bring you any less for fighting level 30 enemies or below. So, like I said, I still recommend you use Fate Bringer a lot. It's very, very good. So yeah, I heard they were bringing a nerf to uh, hand cannons here in Destiny. They, it was on an update or something on their uh, on their app or on their site or whatever. They're bringing a nerf to hand cannons, and I don't think that's right. I don't think they should bring a nerf to hand cannons. Um, hand cannons are sometimes, mostly, always outclassed by auto rifles. Paul, not really pulse rifles, definitely not pulse rifles, but scout rifles, auto rifles. Uh, you know, they they use those weapons a lot more than hand cannons because at a range and just at a general shot distance and the fact that you only fire one bullet um, obviously with one trigger pull and it's a it's a pistol you know I don't think it should be nerfed I think it's just fine the way it is you know what I mean uh, pistols you're sh you're honestly you're supposed to be able to shoot uh, quite far with them you know they're saying that they're nerfing the effective range on the hand cannons again I don't think it's right for them to do that I think it's very, very wrong. I think they should definitely change their mind on that before they ruin hand cannons and make them unusable. Uh, kind of like what they did with uh, pulse rifles. You know, basically no one uses pulse rifles anymore unless it's Red Death and the Crota's End and stuff like that. Uh, but no one really uses pulse rifles anymore. You know, they're outclassed, and they're going to make hand cannons outclassed, and I don't find that right. I don't like that. So I hope they go back on their decision, or I hope they at least make the nerf balanced. Uh, so that hand cannons actually still do serve a purpose. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I think they're making some mistakes with this game. Overall, I love the game. Obviously, it's like I said before, it's my favorite game right now. Uh, but they, they definitely can make some better decisions. You know what I mean? It, it's well not, not rocket science. Not saying I can run a game, guys. So don't, don't put that on me. But. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Alright, so just kill everything. So just literally kill anything with eyeballs unless you're playing with your friends and they're in the same game. That's probably not a good idea to kill them. Although I don't think you would be able to, but nonetheless. Alright, well, there's those enemies right there. Let's put on this Praetis Revenge. Let's snipe some right. Ah! Nope, oh, missed him. Come on. Dude, he, he hid behind there. I know he did for a fact, but whatever. Alright, well, I'm going to kill a few more, then we'll pick up that scout mission, and we'll go on our way, depending on where the fuck they are. Jesus, man. Should be everything. There we go. Alright, yeah, they just killed literally everything. By the way, I'm ranking up my dead orbit. Uh, yesterday, playing the Nightfall, I actually got my Did Orbit to rank 3, got my first Postmaster package from Did Orbit. Uh, I was actually pretty excited about it. I hope to get a shader. I don't think you can get that until later on uh, when you get your uh, Did Orbit to higher ranks and stuff like that. I don't think you can get them. Uh, so I'm still going to be working on my Did Orbit. It's going to be my primary go-to faction for my Hunter. Uh, I'm definitely going to be running Did Orbit pretty much all the time now on my Hunter. Uh, I might switch up the cloaks sometime just to kind of look different and look cooler while doing raids and stuff like that. Obviously, that doesn't matter. I just ha have to remember to put my cloak back on before I turn in some stuff or do nightfalls or weeklies or anything that gives me vanguard rep. I need to make sure that I obviously have that did orbit cloak on. Although, it doesn't look too bad. Anyways, like the did orbit cloak looks pretty fucking nice anyways. Uh... It doesn't go along, obviously, with everything, you know. It, I don't. I think it would look really fucking good with red. I should maybe transfer my uh, God of War shader from my Warlock over to my Hunter. I wonder what that would look like. I think that would look pretty cool, in my opinion. 
So hey, we might do that. I'm not sure. Who knows? It also looks very good with that sun setting shader, which I do have that actually on me. Uh, let's kill this guy right here. Uh, let's put on that sun setting shader. Obviously, we have Glow Who on right now. As you guys can see, that's Crota Hard. You get that from Crota Hard. We'll put sun setting shader on right now. See, that looks badass with the sun setting shader. You see that shit? Woo, that looks good. Looks real good. I'm definitely going to rock that Glow Who for a little bit longer, just until it gets a little old. <laughs> and I'm going to want to wear something different, but I'm going to rock that Glow Who shader until, uh... Until, like I said, it gets old as fuck. And everybody starts using it, everybody starts getting it, everybody starts wearing it. And it's going to become overused and uh, everything like that. But I'm going to rock it for as long as possible. So enemy scout it. Here we go. Yeah, it's telling us to go up on the roof. Okay. Uh, let's get our sparrow here. Make this go by a little faster. I just totally failed that jump. My bad. Wow, I just... <sighs> nice. Good one, Nathan. MLG, man. MLG. Alright, let's get over here and scout. Uh, boom. Boom. Vandal did as hail. Vandal did as hail. Vandal did as hail. Reaver Vandal did as hail. In a minute. Yeah, Reaver Vandal did as hail. Uh, we should have some maybe kill target missions or something like that in this place. It's usually a kill target. Got what they need. So let's, let's go ahead and moving. check. We have a scout mission and we also have a pickup mission. So let's get this uh, let's get this pickup bounty here, and then we'll get that ghost analysis mission over there as well after we do this pickup bounty. We're also going to do this public event real quick because well, why the fuck not, right? Uh, I think we're pretty close. I don't know. If Pretty close is an understatement or not, but we're going to go ahead and see. Yeah, we're about halfway with that uh, 9,000 XP, so that's good. Uh, got trouble brewing. What do we need to pick up now? Fallen. Just just Fallen. Okay, that's that's good. Just Fallen. Cool. Okay, so Shanks count, apparently. Nice. Okay, let's focus on a lag first. Hopefully he doesn't kill us, because I don't want to die. Alright, come on, Truth. Do your tracking, bruh. There we go. Just a little more. Let's get these sniper hits in. Dead as hell. Cool. <laughs> Holy shit, that was easy. That was ridiculously easy. Alright, uh, let's go down here and get all these uh, temper cloths picked up and everything like that. Let's see if we can kill some more here. Damn, I can't even get this one, can I? Okay, I got it. Never mind. Scratch that. Got it. Oh, they all disappeared over here, huh? Well, that's shitty. Fate bringer don't give a shit, failer. Let's go over here and use this on Fallen. I'm sorry if you guys hear my dogs bark. My doorbell just rang and my mom went to go get it, so I do apologize for that, but not really too much I can do about it. Anyways, let's go kill the Fallen. Totally failed there. <laughs> Holy shit, that shank just got wrecked. Again, I do apologize for the dog barking. That's kind of pissing me off. I'm literally probably going to go kill it here in a second. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't call Pete on me. But I'm telling you, dude. But I got to find a way to shut them the fuck up. Honestly, though. like They're fucking chihuahuas, you know what I mean? So, obviously, they have a tendency not to shut the fuck up. If, if, if you get that. Uh, but, you know, there's got to be something, right? I mean, totally, there's going to be something. The whole yelling, shut the fuck up thing usually does work, but I don't want to annoy you guys and say that right now. So. Anywho. Let's pop this gold gun right now. I don't know why we're popping a gold gun. What are they, level 3 or something? I literally won't even need that much damage going into them, but. I think actually just picking up this timber cloth will do it. 
Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, uh, let's get this ghost right, analysis mission here. We're gonna check exactly how many we got. Standing bounty for uh, we have four of six. Okay, so we're gonna do this one and then one more after that. This is sending us where? Did orbit? Ooh, did orbit's looking for an aerospace from the golden age. Cool. Uh, off awesome. Well, did orbit's my fucking faction, so I do anything for them. So you got it, did orbit? Man, I don't know if you guys have watched Prison Break at all. Uh, have you guys ever watched Prison Break? I'm, uh, it's like I'm, oh, shit, okay. Um, a very good show, I'll tell you that much. If you have Netflix or whatever, uh, I definitely recommend you watch Prison Break. It is very, very cool. Uh, I absolutely love the show. I finished the entire series. Um, there's a guy in it during season one, and, uh, his name is John Abruzzi. He's also in it in season two as well. Uh, his name is John Abruzzi. There's a fucking, you know, he's kind of a mafia type dude. And uh, I know the actor. I just don't know the actor's name right off my heart. That's why I'm saying it by uh, prison break uh, right now, just to let you guys know. Uh, John Abruzzi, the Did Orbit guy, uh, you know, the faction leader for Did Orbit, uh, he's actually voiced by the guy who did John Abruzzi on Prison Break. Again, like I said, I know the actor's name. I just can't think of it right now. Uh, but yeah, he's, um, he's voiced by the same actor. And uh, when I first noticed that, I thought it was pretty badass. Because at the time, I was still watching Prison Break, so I thought it was uh, I thought it was pretty damn cool. You know what I mean? So uh, let's see what we got here for bounties. What do we have? Uh, we do have a kill target up there, so we're gonna go for that one for our last one, uh, just so we can get some really good Vanguard rep going. Uh, these kill targets right here, these are the ones that send you off in a location to literally kill a target, like a Shank or a vandal or you know any type of thing like that they send you off to kill it and they actually if you guys don't know they actually give you the exact same amount of vanguard rep as a vanguard rock strike which is pretty fucking insane if you ask me a vanguard rock strike gives you about 25 without a uh a cloak and then with well not a cloak but just a general class item um but with one you get 31 and this is the exact same shit you get for doing these uh, kill target missions. If so, if you ever see one of those soccer ball looking things that I showed you at first, um, definitely go for that one because it'll give you a lot of vanguard rep. It'll send you off in another location, but like I said, it'll be worth it because it's a shit ton of vanguard rep. My sparrow's about to blow up, so hopefully I don't die here. Let me just run through this part real quick. Uh, it's a shank, so it should be right over this way, I believe. And yeah, there we go. Alright, shank did, and look at that. Vanguard rep, and boom, 31. Look at that. Isn't that insane? 31 Vanguard rep, just for that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check exactly, see how much XP we need. Uh, yeah, so we could probably do that premise howl as well. But that'll be it for the video for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to hit the video up with a like, share it with friends, tell me in the comment section below what else you guys want to see from me. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Like I said, level up a Fatebringer if you guys get it, no matter what. It's maxed out at 300, I get it. But it's very, very good, even with the damage decrease that you uh, obviously can get from now. Anyways, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm very, very close to 900, so here's to it. Alright guys, later.